Twa, 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 it do not matter. Clip on a ruga, look like a ruler. Okay, so I'm back and before the video started, it's greatly appreciated when you went to rags. So please like, comment, and subscribe. So this video is just some random tea that's in my phone. We're about to talk about it, all right? All right. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about is Now That's TV. They have a show coming out. When I tell y'all, I'm very excited for this show. You know how South Central Baddies had like some of the uh, transgender girls in it and it was kind of controversial because they didn't want the women fighting the transgender women, you know? They made a whole show. For the transgender women. Look, okay, so Isaiah, he's not my favorite all of the time. But that nigga know how to make a show. I even already know some of these people. I know Joyce and Kenzie because of Now That's TV. Uh, Sway, I don't really know her, but I heard her name before. Savannah, I know her because I used to watch Bigo. Uh, who else? YG Dior, I know she's on Bigo, but I don't really know her like that. She, like, she got on when I wasn't watching that shit no more. Now, JB's, I know JB's. I love JB's. Can't wait to see that. She's not really the best fighter, though. Also, no, Zay from Big O was on Now That's TV on another show. I think the last time I seen Zay, he got beat up in front of a liquor store or a carryout. And, like, he was super drunk. He ended up getting his lick back because he went to the nigga house. And... Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Do y'all? Do anybody remember that? JB's, I seen her fight when We Love Shay and Gutter was fighting. And Gutter beat the shit out of We Love Shay. Ended up dislocating his shoulder. JB's for one of the Gutter friends and child. She got her ass beat. I ain't gonna lie, she lost that one. And the girl was like, the girl was way shorter than her. So I don't really know how to fuck that. How, JB's is tall. Well, I, I, it don't matter, I guess, because clearly she lost. But I like JB's. I feel like I, JB's was like one of the most level-headed people on Bigo at the time, in my opinion. Like, like when she got into it or it was like the base or something, I feel like she made the most sense. Like, you know when I be in my comments, how y'all feel like we be thinking the same sometimes? That's what I'm talking Like, she makes sense to me. But what I will say is I, I haven't watched them in a long ass time, so I don't even know how they act no more. I don't know if they changed or anything. So take what I say with a grain of salt, okay? Then we have E.T. So E.T., she was on live for a little bit yesterday. Did I catch everything? No, because, nigga, it was too much going on. But what I did catch was her basically saying, the baddies got some skeletons in their closet, and they would be mad if she put it out. But she don't want to put it out because... I don't know, nigga. Here, here go the clip. But, um... A lot of these bitches got skeletons. A lot of these bitches got skeletons that they don't want out the fucking closet. It's not my fault. Like, I can really tell you some shit. And I'll be like, oh. Because they try to portray me like a liar. I'm not a liar. Uh, there's this new topic around E.T. A lot of people are starting to feel bad for her. Do y'all, are y'all starting to feel bad for her? Me, personally, I'm not. Mm -mm, I'm straight. Nope. And I ain't gonna lie, I've been seeing Roly get some uh, positive comments. Like, way more she's been getting for the past few months. Me, personally, I still don't like her. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe season six, I'll be over it. Hopefully, I'll forget it by then. And I, as of right now, no, nah, in my head, you still did that weird shit. Like, me personally, I'm not really picking the side of them two beef it because I don't like neither one. Am I making sense? Like, go ahead, beef. I'm going I'm to I'm be entertained and I'm going to watch it. And I'm going to get my opinion. But I still don't like neither one of y'all. Also, this ET interview that a lot of people talking about, I spoke about it yesterday, but I ain't really put no clips in it. So, I'm going to put these little clips in it in case y'all wanted to see and y'all didn't see it. It's going to be real quick. So, first, uh, the interview was like, ET, I heard you put Tzatziki on her ass about three times, right? ET said, I did put her on her ass, but she didn't put me on my ass. I fell, but then she was like, but I passed out in my head, I passed out. Then she was like, uh, she passed out because she didn't know her body. Uh, she just had surgery and she wasn't drinking water between the rounds. But I, when I tell y'all, I swear, I remember her saying she kept taking water breaks and kept going back. Did she not say that shit? Because in this interview, she just said she wasn't taking water breaks in between rounds. N nigga, what? Am I, am I tripping? <laughs> I could have sworn she said that. To let them know, she does not scare me. I heard you put her on her ass like three times. No, I put her on her ass. She put me, she didn't put me on my ass. I fell. I fainted in my head. I really fainted because I blacked out when I passed out. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know my body worked this way, but I really need to drink water through well, everyone. You just had surgery. Like you have no energy. I didn't know that. You know, I, I don't, I've never had surgery. So I didn't know that. It's just like when we get our massages. When you get your massage and you're about to pass out, you got it. They be like, here, drink some water so you don't pass out. I didn't know that. Mm. So after me and her rounds, I ran them all without drinking water. So they called you. I walked out with Roly, but me and, for some reason, me and Roly went like this. <laughs> we went like this. 
I'm I'm alone. At this point, I felt alone before I even walked out with Rolly. Me and Rolly barely spoke walking out. You know what I'm saying? She was asleep the whole time. You feel set up? Yeah, I for sure did. Um, I've done TV for a while now. My platform didn't start with Zeus. I'm familiar with TV. I'm familiar with setups. Hey, when you came out, was it like, let me get Natalie now because I won't be able to get to her later. No, so I came to the thing with some things on my mind. Mm -hmm. Natalie did not reach out to me before the reunion. I kept calling her. She wasn't answering. Production, you know, they like, now I ain't gonna say production because he got fired. So he's, he's ex-production. Mm -hmm. Ex-production. He put, he calls me and says, yeah, they gonna set you up. They gonna get you jumped, bitch. I said, I already talked to a production. They said that everybody has their own security. I'm not getting jumped. Wait, somebody on production. Believe him. I'm not believing him at this. As soon as it's time to go on stage to start this reunion, energy was just crazy. I'm like, can I get me set up? I know this bitch now you're not playing with me. But I'm like, if I'm going to get set up and jump, I'm going to hit the bitch who is supposed to be the head of this shit. Who's, who has it? It's bullshit if you ask me. Shit is bullshit. Bullshit. Anyway, next we got Rolly and her body. Here goes the update. I think Rolly look good if you ask me. I, I see a difference, nigga. She look way different. <laughs> I see it. I think she look good. Then we have T. As we all know, T lied. Said she beatboxed on Scotty face. No, the fuck you did not, girl. You did, right? But anyway, people want her ass because it's like what you said didn't really happen, nigga, right? She then really said, everyone clocking on how I felt at the reunion versus how I felt at the racetracks with E.T. Truth is, I wasn't trying to hurt the baby. T, what baby? What baby? Now, I ain't gonna lie. When I first seen it, I skipped over it because it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Because at first, I'm thinking she was calling Scotty a baby, right? In my mind, I'm like, this girl way bigger than you. How's she a baby, right? I didn't see this pregnant emoji until a couple hours ago. Are you saying Scotty's pregnant? Because, like, see, if you made that up, that's not really you. Or, well, honestly, because you made up saying that you want to fight and you didn't. So, damn, I guess it is you. But I didn't really know she was, like, that messy. Like, you, you, she... Bro, every time I see Scotty go live, she drinking a... Wait, it was just Scotty's birthday. She was just drinking. How's she pregnant? <laughs> what? Is that what you're trying to say? Are you trying to say Scotty is pregnant? Like, what are you... What? Girl, what the fuck? What, what are you talking about? T, just say you lost, boo. Just say you lost, and then you lied about losing. Just say that. Because what you said ain't what we seen. Are you trying to say you went easy on her because she pregnant? You swung first, nigga. <laughs> what? If you knew she was pregnant, nigga, why did you hit her in the first place? Because you said you ain't even want to fight her, remember? You said it was just a bunch of shit happening, so you hit her. So, first, because it's the shorter clip, Liddy, she went on her YouTube channel, right, responding to Roly. She said, Roly, come tell me in my face what E.T. said about me. Roly, come on my show. I got snacks and meals. <laughs> come tell me to my face what E.T. said about me. Don't do it on live, bitch. Come say it to my face. Because you said too on that live that it was some people that didn't say nothing to you. Roly, you said it. Roly said that um, I came outside. Didn't nobody say nothing to me. Didn't oh, no she a damn lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't nobody touched me when I walked the fuck up out that gate and got in my car. Nobody. Hold that thought. Boy, he said, did nobody say nothing? That's a lie. Huh, speak into the mic while I eat my food. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get comfortable here. She said nobody said nothing? That's a lie. She came out. Hmm, let's see how she came out. Came out the gate. One, two, three, four, five. It was six black trucks. Right there, I seen her coming out the gate. I broke across the street. I'm like, Rolly, what's the deal? Like, what's up? What's going on? Where E.T. at? Like, what's the deal? She all, first she seen, she looked, she like, she holding her shit in her hand. She looked around, she like, uh, E.T. about to get ready to come out. I'm like, no, what's the deal? Like, they homies, like, what's the deal with E.T.? Forgot I was in uniform. So Bila was right there. Bila stood in front of me. Bila like, so Rolly, what's up? What's the deal? And all that, like, Rolly like, nothing. Like, E.T. ain't nothing happened to her. She good, she straight. She about to get ready to come out. She was supposed to go into another truck. 
That wasn't her truck. She was so scared she tried to hurry up and hop in another truck. That wasn't her truck. They moved it to the other truck. She hurried up and got in. She had to have two polices escort her out. Literally, one flew her to the front, went right behind her on the freeway. Then two seconds later, another one came behind her. Trust me, I was sitting there. Her little fettuccine eating ass. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little confused. You mad at Roly for saying E.T. talked about you and you not mad at E.T. for talking about you? Like what? <laughs> or do you just straight up think she lying? That why you... Hmm. So anyway, on to uh, E.T. live, right? So first of all, she's saying her number got leaked first. I don't know if she's saying one of them leaked it, but all right. And then on top of that, I don't know. Oh, she's saying the screenshots of her um, posting it to the group chat is fake. Um, She said they fake. She said whoever made up these fake screenshots did a good job. Now, Anna, Anna, she said she got the screenshots of her posting it in the group. <laughs> Look, nigga, I don't know, bro. If she's saying the screenshots is fake, basically she's saying she did not leak their numbers. It was, like it was people telling her that Anna was mad that she leaked their number. But then she said, mother, what the fuck does that Look, Is that some West Coast shit again? Because I don't know what that means. What does that mean? She was like, she don't know why Roly got so much to say about her. Why? And I'm like, well, babe, she's under the impression that you leaked her number. That's why she got so much to say about you. She's denying the whole false rape thing that Roly said yesterday. She said that she could buy a bar of soap. E.T., we know you could buy a bar of soap. <laughs> well, well, you didn't even have to tell us that, bro. It's a bar of soap. But but I I, I think basically she's saying that because, like, Roly put a lot of emphasis on the bar of soap yesterday. Um, She's basically saying she was not there broke. She said she was ordering Uber Eats and stuff like that. Okay, all right. She was also talking about the reunion, basically saying that all of Roly's stuff was not in her trailer like Roly said. She's because yesterday Roly said she put all her stuff in ET trailer so she could be with ET all night. ET calling cap. She said it's not true. And then, and there was one part I'm pretty sure she's responded to when Roly was like, "Uh, these girls is only on baddies for the money for the check. That's it. All they want is the check." Uh, ET. She was like, "Y'all do this for money. I want to take my kids out the hood, but old money not good money, babe. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not really understanding what she trying to." Say. Say, I don't get what she's trying to say. She said, well, I heard the show would have been BS and that they want her, or I guess we, I don't know, that we want her to be the villain so bad. But it's like, E.T., you actually did the shit that we seen you do. The beefs and storylines that you had, you made yourself and none of them made sense. That's why you are the villain of this season. You kept, you kept starting shit for nothing. You inserted yourself in how many things that didn't have nothing to do with you? One of the biggest storylines that you had it, you did it because you made it, and they got debunked. So we're not trying to make you the villain, nigga. You just the villain. That's what the fuck it is. You did it. You did it to yourself. How you... What? <laughs> um, She admitted that Roly did do some things for her, you know, stuff like that. She said Roly told her not to go to goals, but she still went to goals. Uh, she said E.T. She said that she did Roly's show. Um, it did not get paid for it and booked her own ticket there. You know what I'm saying? Child, here, look, I'm so sorry. My energy low. I'm, like, very sleepy. But here goes her laugh. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, a lot of shit's been going on on this internet. And I want y'all to know, my number got leaked first. And y'all been blowing me up. So, I turned my phone off. I did not have my phone all day. I've, I've been club hopping. I went to... Five clubs last night in Houston, back to back to back to back, and have no pictures from none of the clubs. I haven't took pictures since I was woke up this morning and went to the, to the top of the building and took some pictures. That's the only pictures I have of me, okay? Because y'all been harassing my phone, so I want that to be clear. I didn't leak anyone's freaking address because I can't even use my phone because it was y'all kept shutting my phone down my phone kept glitching y'all like why is E.T. so quiet E.T.'s quiet because she can't use her fucking phone I cannot search up but I I know I, I haven't even went through everybody but I've been getting a lot of mentions people talking about honest mad because I leaked her number mother so a lot of my fans probably did search y'all with these bitches up a lot of these fans did search these bitches up. Second of all, I don't know why Rolly got so much uh, to say about me because I'm not going to talk bad about her. That's how real of a bitch I really am. If that's how you feel, I'm glad Mad Day came and you feel that way.
and I would never say anybody raped me. And I could buy me a bar of soap if I could Uber eat me food to the houses. I came, I'm, a, I'm just an overpacker. I came here with a bar of soap. I came here with certain things. Like I, I always am straight. I, I did South Central Baddies and I helped the owner take care and feed girls. Like, I don't care what nobody said. I know my character. Nobody's going to play with my character. Y'all can keep talking bad about me. Usually, I don't respond to these females because I be letting them have it. And everybody be like, why you just let them have it? Like, I don't have to have, let y'all have shit if I don't want to. I can let y'all have what I want y'all to have. You feel me? Every action don't revolve a reaction. But sometimes, you got to speak up. And blah, blah, blah. I don't. I don't. Because when I walk, and people meet me, they feel a different vibe than what y'all saying. I didn't leak nobody's address. None. None. And I, I wasn't tripped because when I seen off of my friend phone, because my mom, I called her, I'm like, mom, I can't talk to you, you feel me? She's like, um, why this bitch thought she was gonna leak your address? I'm like, it's cool. And then I got on somebody's phone. I said, can I use your Instagram and, and go look? I got on their phone. I seen. I said, this is not my address. I said, let me sign in real quick. Boom, 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 boom. It's not mine. It's not mine. It's mine. I signed out the girl phone. I came. I'm in Houston. And I came back at 6 o'clock in the morning. And anybody in Houston who seen me at the club could vouch for that. I went to five, six different clubs last night. Don, Riato, um, Crew. I went to a lot of different clubs last night. So, all this on the internet shit, I don't give a fuck. I made sure that bitches said it with their chest. I, I unfollowed y'all. I made y'all unfollow me back because all that keeping it cute and quiet on the internet like y'all fuck with me and now everybody's saying they don't fuck with me but then I'm wrong for just keeping it cute right I'm wrong for just be like it's not that it's just not that no more I'm wrong right I'm not sitting here saying she fucked this that and the third she doing this I kept it cute I don't have to keep it cute with these people but I chose to keep it cute because that's how I am I don't have a mad day I don't get mad and say, oh, I want to just slur out and say anything about you. First of all, and Rolly knows me, but she don't know me that long to say I've never had a bank account. When I got robbed on South Central Baddies season one, I said my bank account, she stole my bank cards, she stole my jewelry, my ID, all that was in that pouch when I said I was homeless and the girl stole my shit. I had a Bank of America card, bitch. You don't know me like that. You don't know me. And she she saying she never talked to me, this and a third, but right before the reunion, she kept calling me, kept calling me, how your body feel? Are you okay? I'm like, I'm ready for it. It is what it is. I'm coming, I'm doing my shit. She kept calling me. And she did, you girl, you let me know. You was like, now they say anybody run up on me and Scotty, she got us. So for Cole, basically y'all saying, I'm by myself. Then I get there, y'all there, but y'all not there. And she's lying. She didn't take her shit out of the, her fucking trailer and put it in my trailer. When she walked up with her bags, she told the security guard, here, take my bag and put it in my trailer. Her trailer's right next to mine. She said, put my bags in my trailer. She stayed in, her, in my room with her weed though. Because when she got mad about the stage shit, she came in my trailer and was like, where's my weed? And they was like, oh, we ain't gonna steal, my people was like, we ain't gonna steal your weed, here it go, it's right here. Like, bro, stop playing, like, come on now, like, I don't have to lie. I don't have to lie. Like, I don't care. 
And it ain't no money for me. Y'all do this shit for money. Y'all do this shit for money. Yes, I want to take myself and my kids out the hood. Yes. But all money ain't good money, baby. Like, stop playing with me. I have sold people fuck them in their ass a million times. I'm tired of stuff. I'm sleepy. I'm tired of this drama shit. On everything, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of y'all keep fucking with me. I swear to God, I'm so tired of this cast fucking with me. But let's keep it real. Without me, y'all shit would have been bullshit because y'all bullshit. Y'all need y'all y'all want someone to be the villain so bad. I know y'all want me to spill tea on these bitches. Like the thing is, Natalie stays quiet. She talks on the phone with every you, you gonna talk to these girls and you're gonna put it in these girls' head, like, why is ET messing with me? Why is ET messing with me? And they gonna feel obligated to fuck with me. For Natalie, then Roly, you sit here, you you foaming at the mouth about shit, and it ain't even accurate because who can't buy a bar of soap? I'm not gonna go there. I'm not. See, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let no one get me out of my character. I'm trying. I feel bad, and they push me to a point of. Being a petty ass evil and I want to be evil so bad. I want to say so much right now. I could really put it out there. But you know what? I feel like they not worth it, y'all. I swear to God, I feel like it's like the devil right here saying, fuck that. Tell all them bitches business. And the angel like, let God handle it. Live be. And I don't know which one to listen to right now because like, Fuck that. Tell them bitches business. Let them bitches have it. Let them bitches have it. I don't know which one to do right now. It's like, the makeup artist. I don't record phone calls. I don't record. For, okay. Period. Because you told me that. But I'm going to let you have it. Because I don't have receipts. And without receipts, these people don't believe me. But I do have a message that I kept. Because you're talking about you only talked to me once because you wanted to style me. But you sitting here talk, you was talking to me about editing and all type of shit. You feel me? You're talking about how they was editing me and this, that, and the third, and the fans, and da, 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 da. Like, first, stop playing with me. We got real deep. We got real dirty. But you know what? I'm going to let you have that. You feel me? The makeup artist. You just said production. The makeup artist, nigga. And then, bitch, while you sitting here talking about Rolly this, Rolly that, Rolly said, while I listen to you, you got fired, nigga. First, you was production. You was a talent producer, right? Now you got your ass kicked to the curb, became a makeup artist, and got and messy. Just say you want to be on Bad Boys next season. Just say you want to be on Bobby, I love you per or something, nigga. If it was ever a chance that E.T., was fuck a cameraman and say he raped me. Why did do that? Why didn't I do that? Rolly told me not to go to goals and get my body done. I still did it. I still did it. I went to goals when she told me not to. So if y'all really think I listen to Rolly, y'all all try to rabbit ass mine. And that's what the whole thing was. Y'all not finna make it seem like Rolly can tell me what the fuck to do. She can tell me, you know, oh, you know, don't, don't, don't overstep it because, you know, there's different rules over here as Zeus. But you can't tell me how to act and how to be and where to go and what to wear and shit like that. No. Now, all bullshit aside, Roly did buy my passport. Roly did take me a little shopping while we was out there when I was on the show. I'm not never going to be a fake ass bitch and be like, oh, bitch, never fucking help me. But. When I help someone, I don't, I don't do this. I don't do this. Like I've helped people. I bet y'all, Liddy probably gonna be like, 
And he did this for me. He did that for me. I'm never going to say I did nothing for a living. That's real shit. I fell out with bitches. And I still ain't said what I did for them. Me and Cash used to be like that, right? Stayed in my house, all that. You don't see me saying, I did this for Cash. I did that for Cash. That's not the type of bitch I am. I did shit for Barbie. I ain't going to be like, oh, I did this for Barbie. But I, I went to motherfucking Rolly show for free on the Zeus network. What the fuck is you talking about? Did not get paid to do your show and still came. Bought my own ticket to do your show. Real friends don't give a fuck about none of that. The fuck is you talking about? Y'all not breaking me. Y'all just showing me my path with y'all not gonna be long. That's it. But that is the end of this video. So if you found it interesting, and I hope you did a little bit, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on. Thank you.